Hello lovely patrons, this is part two of the October 15th, 2018 updates to the Unlikely Stories. This is our production vlog, which we are supposed to release weekly, but often it's three times a month, maybe? Yeah, you know, every other week, most weeks, something like that. Um, and we offer this production vlog to people who are subscribers to our Patreon channel for three bucks a month or more. And let's see, I have been rambling about my um, fiance's aunt's funeral, and now we're going to talk about what we've actually been working on at Unlikely Stories for the past couple of weeks. On the 1st of October, on our very first day back after the uh, break we took after the 20th anniversary issue of Unlikely Stories, we released four collages by Shane Allison. Now this is really exciting. Um, Shane Allison used to appear on the site pretty regularly. Um, He's been more occasional for the past couple of years, for the past few years. And it's been a long time since we featured his visual art on Unlikely Stories. So I'm pretty stoked about that. These collages are not safe for work. They are assembled uh, primarily from pornographic magazines, also from fashion magazines. And they are some uh, really remarkable um, <clears throat> Uh, glimpses into Shane's artistic style. Uh, I don't. I don't think they'd really be called uh, erotic art, um, but um, yeah, they are uh, the most uh, fabulous art uh, built from primarily pornography that I think you're really going to love. Um, let's see. We also have new work up just now on the side by Vernon Fraser. Um, I talk about Vernon Fraser a fair amount, so I don't want to um, belabor that point, but. Um, he is just a master of uh, typographical poetry. Um, uh, hold on, let me, I am going to talk about him somewhere. Let me get his book. This is Improvisations by Vernon Fraser. It is 700 and, no, just uh, 697 pages and is bigger than many phone books. Whew, that was satisfying, wasn't it? Um, Improvisations is a fantastic work that starts out as human readable language and ends as wingdings. And the fascinating thing about this is that if you read the book, one of the many fascinating things about this massive tome is that if you read it from beginning to end, which very few people on this planet have done, but I have, if you read it from beginning to end, you will be able to crack his code. You will understand the pages of Wingdings by the time uh, you're done. It's a very logical progression from his opening statements to his ending statements, even though his ending statements are no longer in traditional human language. They're in his language, and you will learn his language, and you will enjoy his language greatly by the time you're done. Uh, we have a new typographical poem up by Vernon Fraser on the site right now called Cold Wave. You should definitely check it out. We've also got, he also writes uh, more traditional poems, and we've got some very cool abstract uh, jazzy poems up um, text-based um, by Vernon right now. So that's cool. The newcomer I'd like to talk about is C.F. Roberts. Uh, C.F. Roberts has uh, brought us two fabulous stories. Um, Superman, Jesus, and Rice Patties, and the, uh, the windshield of a moving car is hard, especially when you drop down on it from 30 feet. Um, these are wonderful, uh, very vivid uh, character, um, character studies. Superman, Jesus, and Rice Patties is about a child struggling with the concept of good and evil and coming to the awareness that good doesn't always win. Um, the, the other one... The windshield of a moving car is hard, especially when you drop onto it from 30 feet, is a detailed character study of a uh, dying man who calls himself Howard the Duck, who had his name legally changed to Howard the Duck, and how irritated he is with his young friend who had his name legally changed to Spider-Man. Uh, so these are great stories, and I think you're really going to love them if you haven't seen them already. Please do go to www.unlikelystories.org and check them out. I think you'll really enjoy them. Meanwhile, over at Unlikely Books, I have been working on a manuscript by Wendy Taylor Carlyle, and this is confirmed for publication at Unlikely Books. It is tentatively titled The Mercy of Traffic, and we are going to get it out by the AWP conference. The AWP conference is the conference of the Association of Writers and Writing Programs. 
We will be there in Portland in March, and we are going to have this book ready for it. Um, so I will be talking about that more at a later time. Okay, that's the news. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I hope I actually get out another update in a week. And thank you very much for your patronage.